Alright, welcome back to Pathologic. Last time we uh, discovered that we're not actually done with Day 7. But we got ourselves kind of a handle on what to do with Day 7. We have this quest that we're doing with um, getting a mask for potentially the either potentially the hair specs, maybe the changeling. And where are we in that quest actually? Wait, sorry, I've got kind of a streamer memory here. What See, what have we gotta do? What do we have to do for Peter now? So there's something with like we talked to Peter and he needed us to do something. I'll just redo the conversation off camera here so I remember what we need to do for this quest and then we'll continue with it. I'm sorry that I don't remember after like all the Final Fantasy grinding and that, it's been a while. Oh boy. Alright, so what's happening here? Of course, um, Sabarov wants Peter dead, so he's assigned him the task of Master Ceremonies, whatever it's called. We need to keep him alive for the next three days, so I think... Um, I don't know if we talk to him or talk to the Executor. It was kind of ambiguous. I'm going to talk to um, Sabarov here first, just because he's right here. I think it's more likely to be the executor, but now, like I said, he's right here. It won't hurt to just give it a try here. I, yeah, that was a very inefficient route I just took, but it's fine. All right, pop in. How you doing, my man? I'm glad it's not Mark Kaminsky. Well, God will shut up. He's got kind of a throaty voice. So we kind of should duck in the here to reset everything anyways. So let's go ahead and uh, do this whole deal. Yeah, I'm not gonna do a full grocery run here. I'm, gonna aim to, I'm not gonna aim to do one at the moment, but Anytime I, I get a chance to, like, pick up some food as I'm doing my quest, I might as well take it. I think it's probably more how you're supposed to do it anyways, like, to be more efficient. So that is kind of like the whole point of this game in some sense. Alright. After way too long, we're back here at the Inquisitor. Hopefully this is the actual next step. There are so many crows in the sky. There sure are. Is, are they supposed to be omens? I want to ask a favor of you. Sabrov, abusing the power he's been given, is endangering the life of a certain Peter Stomaton. Why? It seems he's trying to settle a personal grudge. And who's that Peter Stomaton? The creator of the spectacular tower on the other side of the river. Oh, oh, then his life more than deserves to be saved. Thank you. And how exactly is Sabrov needlessly endangering his life? He put Stomaton in charge of burials and cremations. The work is highly dangerous since he has to deal with the dying all the time. We can fix that. We'll find a replacement. You have my gratitude. Now it's my turn to ask you a favor. I feel strange to admit that, but I actually can't achieve one of my most coveted goals in this town. Only you can help me. I have learned that Victor Kane's aloof daughter is madly in love with a certain proud fighter of death. She is? That's news to me. At least nothing in her behavior betrays that. Perhaps. But my request is very important. In fact, the fate of the town may depend on it. Please, arrange for me to meet my beloved relative. She won't refuse you. Wait, Maria is related to you? Yes, the most beloved of my family. But my love is unrequited. She's prejudiced against me. I heard her in the past, and then she was told terrible things about Inquisitors. A silly, childish prejudice. 
Now that we're both young women of similar age, a new meeting should help wash old memories away. How can I assist you in that? I don't wish to force my way into a beloved person's home. I need an invitation to come in. Convince her that I mean her no harm. Or just take me to her and tell her, here, I've brought you a new friend and then let me speak. Oh, very well, that won't be hard, but only if she is, really is happy to see you. Okay. So this is like the first indication in the universe that Maria is in love with me, apparently. Yeah, and that's a new quest here, too. So we'll save here. As, uh, as late as it is already, I might actually take a bit of a nap. We'll take a nap maybe in Maria's house. Like, the thing is, Maria is here on the way anyways, so we may as well go stop at her house. We'll let her know, and then I'll just like crash in her bed maybe for a couple hours. Just to like stave off myself from like passing out on the streets. I don't know exactly how that mechanic plays out if you die or if you just like take some kind of punishment, but I'm gonna avoid it either way. Alright, we'll save before we talk to her just in case. Ayo. Why has Aglaia ordered to open the termitary? Aglaia. Is it clear of infection? Whatever happens to me now, do not be surprised by anything. This promise that you will never doubt me. Turns out Aglaia Lelech? Turns out that Aglaia Lelech, Lelech is your relative? I didn't know that. Yes, she is the younger sister of my lovely mother, so she's your aunt. Yeah, very keen detective work of my aunt there. And there's not a single person in the world who would hate my mother more viciously than she does. She claims to be fond of you. She hates me for my mother's magical power. I know what she wants. She wants to see if I resemble my mother or not. Oh, she won't leave me alive. Especially now that my mother's many colored powers begin to awaken inside me. She'll know, she'll feel it. Uh, she says that she'd frighten you somehow when you were a child. It has to pass if you give her a chance. No, I don't think so. Consider it a whim, but I'm incapable of doubting my premonitions, so else too many people will suffer. It may be a superstition. I may be imagining all this, but I won't let her in, ever. You're holding a key as if you're about to leave. Where to? Oh, I wasn't planning on going anywhere. And who are you to forbid me anyway? I don't like either of these, but... You're a bad liar. I think I'm going to tell your father about that. Oh no, please don't tell dad. He might be disturbed now. Don't go there. You must not get distracted. Today is memory day. Uh, oh, of course, memory day, you know. You've piqued my curiosity. Uh, where does it say for here? Okay, we'll save again, and I'll just sleep how, how, two hours? Yeah. Yeah, don't mind me, Eva. You're not Eva. But before you can slip there, sorry. Maria. Whatever your name is. Alright, so now I've got to talk to you. Peter. Wait, so for this quest, do we have to talk to uh, Georgie? I mean, like I said, we're already right here. It won't take more than a couple minutes, so... We may as well just go talk to him here. And then we'll go back and talk to Peter and try to complete that quest. Is this Georgie's house? Yeah, I never know which one's Georgie's and which one's... Victor's, although I think Georgie's is farther. Is Georgie her father? That's the other question, too. He's old, so I'm assuming he's her father, but we'll find out. Tell me what you want, and I will tell you who. No, he is not. 
I just, he's old, so I assumed. Is it Victor that's her father? Like, as much as I love this game's art direction, the way the characters' portraits and that are done, I don't really know how old, like, anyone is. And, like, Georgie is clearly old, but, like, Victor could ostensibly be anywhere from 20 to, like, 50. Are you Maria's father? Yes. Oh, you are? Okay, I assumed you were, like, the same age as me and her, but I guess not. A memory of a person grants them an immortality of its own kind. Oh, is it supposed to be like three generations here? Like, Maria is the daughter of Victor, who is the son of Georgie? Could potentially be how it's going. Sorry. A memory of a person grants them an immortality of its own kind. Yet how soon have people forgotten Simon? He's fading away with every minute that goes by. Your daughter intends to go out into the town. Are you aware of her plans? I am. I've forbidden it. Can you even imagine what's going on there? I don't need to, Doctor. I can just look out of my window, or at you for that matter. What's her business in town? I think she's going to see the architects. Andre or Peter. Peter, most likely. She needs to know something about the tower. About the inner workings of some chambers. I believe. She's particularly concerned about it now, because of Simon's memory fading. The streets are dangerous as hell, are you? And you are so indifferent? And they said Lilith had restored order in the streets with an iron fist. Is it true that they've erected a gallows near the railway? Speaking of Aglaia Lilith, she's been seeking an audience with Maria, not to... Railroad conversation into what I want here, but... I don't think any good will come of that. Aglaia has always has always been a mean little girl. But you know, I've always believed that people can and do change the better. And every time an enemy of mine returned after prolonged absence, I welcomed them with open arms. You are a generous person, Victor, and a, a bit of a dreamer. Pardon my lack of ceremony. Okay, well, that's that quest. Can you use that door? Probably, I don't know why I always go all the way around. Also, I'm gonna save inside too. Inside of paranoia. Get this nice big shot of the door for the thumbnail. Okay. Well, I'm glad I did that because it looks like these two quests are converging on Peter. So I guess now we gotta go back and talk to him again. So that's pretty exciting. Another like 10, 15 minute journey that I'm gonna have to cut entirely for my video. So look forward to that. All right, so I'll save here because we have actually two different conversations to do with Peter, one for each of the two side quests we're doing. Face is fading away. Are you sick or something? So he's drunk is the implication here. Peter, Peter, can you hear me? You're not the master of cremations and burials anymore. Oh, how appropriate, old boy. So I can get back to work now. Take the mask, I'll have no need of it now. Though I could use it to mix ink. Working in this condition is useless though, isn't it? Oh, okay, well, uh, it also gave me a lens, apparently. To allow yourself no time to think. That's how you get to heaven. And if you talk to him again. Okay, that's uh, nothing. Okay, do I have any new letters? So I have the mask now. And uh, apparently, um. Apparently we don't talk to him about the other quest here. Um hmm. I don't know where to take the mask here. So out of curiosity, can I wear it? 
I think I'm wearing it right now. I think I'm dressed up in an Inquisitor uniform. If I talk to someone, does it change anything? It does not. Okay. Well, what do we do now, then? I mean, what do we do with the... What do we do with either quest, then, now? Like... Where am I gonna find, uh... The Heart of Specs and Earth Changeling? And also, where am I gonna find, um... Like, what do we do to advance the other quest? Did I need to talk to, um... Uh... Maria again before I went down here. I'm gonna to talk to Andre if he's here. Just to see if that gets me anywhere. Okay, he is here. You got anything for me to help? Why are you standing there like a dummy? Okay, now you're just gonna insult me. Pretty cool. I am you know what I will I may as well since I have the save. I'll go ahead and load up this one as well. This is just like after we finish talking to Victor. And I'll talk again to both um, Maria and Aglaia to see if that gets me anywhere. Like, I don't think it will, per se, but I don't know what else I would even... If this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to figure out for next time, like what to do here. Maria, I don't think Maria will work because we already talked to her and I... It seems unlikely they'd have you do a back and forth, especially like just when the two places are so close, but let's see. Oh, mother. Why? Okay, no, I'm just gonna not doubt her, I guess. Let's see if Aglaia has anything to say. Alright, you got any insight for me, woman? There are so many crows in the oh, sky. You do. Maria's planning to visit Peter Somerton, the one whose life you saved. If to put, if you wish to see your niece, you'd better hurry. I can't help you enough I can't appreciate your help enough, Bachelor. I won't forget your service. I'll come by to see your cheerful reconciliation. Alright. So hopefully that's um, right for progress. And so the next time we are going to go, we'll have to go talk to Peter again and get the mask again. And we'll have to uh, talk to Peter for this one too. So next time, look forward to talking to Peter. We'll have to do that uh, journey again right at the start of the video. So I'll make an interesting pacing. We'll see if I remember where I was in the story next time. But for now, as always, thank you for watching.